Are you still sitting on the sidelines thinking you've missed out on the real estate boom? Think again. This video reveals why it's not too late to make your move. Join me as I analyze expert predictions and uncover opportunities in every dynamic of the housing market. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share and subscribe for more insightful information. Have you been bombarded with doomsday headlines about the housing market crash, thinking you've missed the golden era of real estate? Well, it's time to cut through the noise and uncover the truth. Welcome to my channel. We're going to talk about real estate and the revolutions. We're going to challenge the mainstream and dig deep into what's really happening. Today, we're on a myth-busting mission, so hang in there, stay through the end, and I'm going to help you find some insightful information. If you find this helpful and maybe you've learned a thing or two, do me a favor, hit the like button, subscribe for more information, and make sure the notification button is hit. Let's start with a question. What if I told you that the media's portrayal of the housing market is not just incomplete, but it's misleading? That's right, I know it's a big shocker. While headlines seemed corrections and crashes, the reality was more nuanced. Today, we're going to unravel the intricacies of the U.S. housing market, guided by the insights of Moody's analytic chief economist, Mark Zandi. Stay tuned as we examine the predictions, outcomes, and what it means for you. If you're not familiar with who Mark Zandi is, he's a pretty smart guy. Wharton School guy, PhD from University of Pennsylvania, published author, sits on the board of MGIC, that is the nation's largest PMI company, co-founder of economy.com, and are just a few of the highlights for this guy. Back in April 2022, Zandi's crystal ball showed a grim picture, a housing correction on the horizon. Spiking mortgage rates were the villains. Expected to bring the market to its knees. But like any good story, the plot twisted. Zandi foresaw existing homes plummeting and national home price growth screeching to a halt by May of 2023. The spotlight was on overvalued pandemic boom towns like Austin and Boise, marked for declines of 5 to 10 percent. Fast forward and what do we see? The national decline was much milder, hovering around 3 to 5 percent by December 2022. And guess what? The market bounced back, hitting new highs in the summer of 2023. Not quite the catastrophe predicted. Moody's analytics updated their crystal ball in 2023. Now they're seeing a flatter landscape with just a negative 0.4 percent dip. Zandi believes in a stable market ahead, influenced by factors like rising incomes and lower mortgage rates. But here's the kicker. The lock-in effect is keeping the supply tight. We all know that. And prices are supported. Now, let's take a step back. Did you hear that? Lower rates and rising income. We hear about affordability all the time being an issue. It's not talked about enough how affordability, while still high, is improving. And it looks like it's going to continue to improve. But wait, you know, the drama isn't over. While the national scene is playing it cool, regional stages like Rochester and Albany in the Northeast are set for a show with elevated price growth. But beware, some pandemic superstars like Austin and Boise might still face declines. You know, opportunity alert right here. It's not the same story everywhere. Once again, real estate is regional. Let's not put all our eggs in one basket. Comparing Moody's model with 15 other companies that track the market, the average bet is a 2.2% rise in U.S. home prices in 2024. All right, let's shift our lens a little bit and look at the broader economic view. Major home price indices like K-Shiller and FHFA aren't just numbers on a graph. They're the pulse of the housing market. And what are they telling us? They're consistently showing home prices are appreciating. This trend isn't a fluke. It's a robust indicator of market health. I said it, health and resilience. When these indices climb, it's a sign of sustained demand and consumer confidence in real estate as a valuable asset. But it's not just about higher prices. It's about the underlying dynamics, low inventory levels, demographic shifts, and a strong desire for home ownership. Now, the rental market. The apartment list rental report is shedding light on a curious trend, dropping rental rates. At first glance, this might seem counterintuitive in a market where we're seeing rising home prices. But here's a deeper story. This drop in rent could be a delayed response in the pandemic-driven demand spike. As life normalizes, the frenzy for rentals in certain areas is cooling off. What does this mean for you? For one, it suggests a market adjusting to post-pandemic realities. But more interestingly, it could signal a shift in consumer preference back towards home ownership. 
Now, the extreme uncertainties of a pandemic era are behind us. There's no doubt about that. And more and more folks are going to consider home ownership. However, these economic indicators, home prices rising while rent, rental rates dip, paint a picture of real estate market that is more nuanced than the headline suggests. It's a market still trying to find its equilibrium in a new normal. But here's the kicker. This scenario creates a unique opportunity for savvy investors and home buyers. Lower rental rates may discourage some from buying, keeping competition from home purchases slightly less fierce. Meanwhile, the continuous appreciation of home prices signals a market that, while cooling, is far from a crash. This is a delicate balance, offering a window of opportunity for those who can read between the economic indicators. As we piece together these economic indicators, the strategy becomes clear. It's about timing and perspective. In a market where home prices are appreciating steadily but rental rates are dropping, the key is to identify areas where your investment can yield the best returns. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or a seasoned investor, understanding these trends is crucial. Remember, real estate isn't just about riding the waves, it's about actually foreseeing them. The media might have you believe that the ship has sailed, but the winds of opportunity are still blowing strong. Remember, real estate isn't just about following trends, it's about understanding them. Don't let the fear keep you docked at the harbor. There is still room to sail in this market. If you found this insightful, valuable, smash that like button, share it with your friends, subscribe for more information about the truth telling in real estate. My name is Darren Hunter. That's another guaranteed message. Have a fantastic day. I wish you all the best. Thank you for watching. Check out these videos for more insights and strategies on making smart real estate decisions. See you on the next one.